My name is Dylan Baines and five months ago I uploaded a complete attacking tutorial for FIFA 23. With over 70 segments and close to 300,000 views, these complete tutorials are usually the most popular on my channel. Hence why I'm back with a complete mid-game attacking tutorial in FIFA 23. Now, so I don't repeat myself in this attacking tutorial, I've gone through the 70 plus segments in the previous complete attacking tutorial and I have sifted through what has changed and what has not. What hasn't changed in FIFA 23 in terms of attacking, I won't address in this tutorial, but for what has changed in terms of attacking in FIFA 23, I will break down and address in this mid-game attacking tutorial and anything else that you guys want to learn you can just simply watch the previous complete attacking tutorial as the segments that aren't addressed in this tutorial will be the same in the last video near post finishing in the attacking tutorial at the start of the year i did iterate that near post finishing was in fact back in fifa 23 and although that is the case i find it's not as effective as what i did iterate in that complete attacking tutorial and in fact I find near post finishing only necessarily works when you're in a specific sweet spot now this sweet spot is in fact halfway between the byline and the 18 yard bots and then halfway between the side of the 18 yard bots and the dot shot if you find yourself in this situation you'll find if you put two or three bars of power onto the shot near post shots will go in nearly every single time to summarize it's a sweet spot first time finishing now i iterated in the complete attacking tutorial back in september that first time shots were back and they kind of reminded me of fifa 19 but i don't think this is the case i was wrong in this case i think first time shots are not very effective and you should avoid them at all costs i highly recommend taking a touch and being composed before you take the shot to set yourself, compose yourself, and then take the shot into the back of the net. And of course, taking that touch in the direction of the space is the most important thing. That will be key to setting yourself up for a perfect shooting opportunity every single time. Finesse is outside the box. Now what I iterated in the previous complete attacking tutorial was that finesse shots were back and that you could pretty much do them anywhere on the pitch and you would score a finesse shot outside the box. It's not the case in FIFA 23, it's changed. And usually there is only one sweet spot that allows you to score a finesse shot outside the bots. And this is just outside the 18 yard bots, around three to four meters in game, okay? And usually it's on the edge. And you'll find that if you have three bars on the corner settings in your custom tactics, there will be a player in this position every single time in the perfect sweet spot position. And when you do a short corner and pass it out to him, he will be able to hit that finesse shot if you hold around three bars of power it will go into the top corner of the net this is a sweet spot i found with the finesse shot this year outside the bots but they are not back into the sense that you can store them anywhere on the pitch you still need to bear in mind that there is a sweet spot that we need to hit every single time when performing a finesse shot outside the bots long shots now what i iterated in the previous tutorial was that when you perform a long shot in fever 23 it's not the greatest they don't usually go into the net they're very hard to score whilst i still stand by that point i've added it into this mid game attacking tutorial simply because if you perform a power up shot long shot they seem to go in the majority of the time especially if you know how to aim them now if you want to know how to aim them nothing has changed with that and that's why it's not in this tutorial as i've iterated at the start i'm only addressing things that have changed but you can type in how to aim power up shots in fever 23 and i've done a complete tutorial on that you can learn how to do it and get better at that but what i find is the power up shot if you know how much power to hold on and you know how to aim them they go in the majority of the time in the complete attacking tutorial back in September, I iterated, dribbling is gone. Whilst that was the case back then, it has changed. There have been patches in FIFA 23, which have actually enhanced dribbling to the point where it is usable. And I say usable because I still stand by the point that FIFA 23 is not necessarily about dribbling. It's about passing. FIFA 22 was about dribbling, not so much passing. It's the opposite this year. 
However, I want to say, to dribble in FIFA 23, ensure that you are very light on the stick. You need to have a very caressed touch, and when you are doing this, you will find that the player will move to the movements of your thumb a lot better. If you're heavy on that stick, that's when you guys will, in fact, struggle to try and beat defenders and obviously get away from them. So dribbling is back to an extent. However, I still stand by the point, you should be focusing on your passing plays rather than just dribbling she will get caught out if you spend too long on the ball back in september i said to you guys through balls are back and essentially what i was iterating there was that you could actually perform through balls this year in fever 23 compared to fever 22 whereas in fever 22 you couldn't right they always went closer to the defender than they did to your attacker lads Whilst I think through balls did work at the start of FIFA 23, I'm not sure about it now and in fact I'm very certain they don't work. The reason why is I've noticed there's been a few patches that have come out where they've nerfed through balls. And what I notice is now they go closer to the defender of your opponent than they do to your attacker. So I was wrong. And that's why I honestly think you guys should avoid through balls in FIFA 23 as my recommendation in this mid game attacking tutorial because I find they don't work as well this year unless the attacker is in lots of space and you can thread that through to him, which obviously they will have a lot of space if they're out in the wing and you know that you're catching the wing back off guard, you can thread it through. However, I would recommend limiting your use of through balls and sticking to regular XA passes. Crossing. Now, there were many segments back in the tutorial back in September. However, for this mid-game tutorial, I want to make a generalized crossing segment to address all five and say that although all five techniques that I taught you in that tutorial do work, I want to say that crossing actually is a lot better this year to what I actually iterated back in the tutorial in September. I didn't say it was as good as what it actually is this year. It's very good and if you guys can get the certain angles for crosses this year, you will score many headers, especially if you know how to aim them. With crosses, I find the best way to cross is a regular cross. Regular crosses seem to always lock on to the attacker, especially if you have enough power and especially if the attacker is in the correct position. And I say correct position because there is a certain time when you should cross where the attacker is in between two defenders. All right, you have two defenders and if the attacker is in between them and he's running straight through that gap, that is a good time to cross to him and you should time it when he is just on the shoulder of those defenders is when you should actually cross the ball and it will always loop into him. Now, one extra tip I want to say is you need to be parallel to either the sideline or the byline. Okay, and that will give you that curved cross. If it's a straight chipped cross, I find they don't work as well. So ensure the play's in the right position. Ensure that the body position of the actual attacker on the ball that's going to cross is correct. It's parallel to the byline or the sideline. And ensure that you have enough power. Okay, crossing is very effective this year. Heading into the bonus segment. Now, I've had some time to think about this and what's actually been discovered in the game so far in FIFA 23. The German cross I did iterate was back in the complete attacking tutorial, but I didn't iterate how good it is this year. It's just as good as FIFA 22, if not better. German crosses are broken and you guys should definitely use them. What it entails is you guys triggering an attacker to make a run forwards. Whilst you have the ball with your wing back or your winger and you time that cross, you can have your center back run forward, your midfielder, whoever it is. And if you time it, It'll lock on to that attacker making the run, and in fact, you'll get on goal every single time. Another segment I want to add in is the step over speed boost. Although I iterated that the step over is a very good skill move in FIFA 23 back in the tutorial in September, I want to say the step over speed boost is broken. It is seriously broken. You will burst through tackles of the defenders even if they line up with you. To perform the speed boost after the step over, it needs to be a step over that's in a straight direction. So you enter in with the right stick forwards and rotate it around to the side of the player. So you're entering in at 12 o'clock to where he is facing. If you're thinking of a clock perspective, you then rotate around to the side of him. So it's either 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. And you point the left stick straight to where he is already running or dribbling. Then you hold R2 as he performs the step over. This will cause him to perform a step over speed boost, which allows him to burst through the gap or space that has been left open and it's very hard to tackle. So there you have it, my complete mid-game attacking tutorial. 
I hope it all made sense and in fact if you are missing anything in your attack or something that you want to learn it will all be listed and taught in the complete attacking tutorial that I uploaded back in September. This video was about addressing what has changed and in fact teaching you new aspects of the game that have been discovered so far as we've come five months into the game iteration of FIFA 23. But that will signal the end of it. I'm coaching one-on-one -on, -one on Patreon.com. If you do want one-on-one -on -one coaching, lads, I've got many testimonials proving I'm taking people from the low divisions to the high divisions. You can check that out. The link to that will be down below. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.